Welcome back to the Bryce Jordan Center where Penn State leads by 11 early on. Well, this is certainly a tough place to play if you're the opposition of the Lady Lions. Penn State is looking for their unprecedented 20th consecutive win here at the Bryce George Center. Also going for another milestone, their 200th win here in this very arena. And Coach Washington said, due to the team's success, attendance has increased steadily since her arrival. Talking with the event staff early on prior to this matchup, they said they even added sections here at the Bryce George Center to bring in fans, also adding the students down low as well. And the popularity has just blossomed with this Penn State team. A lot of the players are celebrities on campus. They get involved with the community as well. In fact, due to this Pink Zone game, they've raised a lot of money. Last year, over $200,000. And just to exemplify that point, the Nittany Medical Center has opened the Lady Lion Basketball Cancer Resource Center to help patients and their families cope and research their diagnosis. Just a job well done by this Penn State community. Back to you, Lisa. Dave, a lot of great information. Their goal this year, 350,000. Back here at the Bryce Jordan Center where Penn State leads 30 to 14 over Michigan. And we're now joined by a special guest, Penn State football coach Bill O'Brien. Coach, thank you for joining us. This is the Pink Zone game. Over 600 survivors are going to be honored at halftime. How does this game resonate with you and your family? Well, you know, just like many families across the country, uh, you, you know, we've been affected by cancer. And uh, this is just a, another great opportunity that the women's basketball coaches have, uh, have done a great job of honoring uh, uh, the survivors and, and trying to help the research for breast cancer and it, it hit close to home with me because uh, my mom's a two-time breast cancer survivor so I'm happy to be here and just try to do a small part to help Coquise and all the other women's basketball coaches. Last year when you stepped on campus you spoke during the timeouts what's it like to speak to all those survivors they have such strong minds that they're kind of like football players. Right you know these, these are uh, women that are so tough mentally tough come from great families that helped them and supported them so it's overwhelming whenever you have a chance to to speak to the, that group of people and I spoke to Thon last week and that was another overwhelming experience because uh, you're talking to people that are mentally tough uh, spiritual people and just trying to do your, your your small part and help them research and, and put an end to a horrible disease. You mentioned Thon and they raised over $12.3 million, an unprecedented number. What's it like being part of this athletics department where you have such great coaches like Char Moretto, the field hockey team, Russ Rose in volleyball, Cal Sanderson in wrestling? This is one of the best athletic programs uh, in the country. We have tremendous coaches here, uh, 31 sports. I've gotten a chance to to get to know all 31 coaches and some a little bit better than others but but we we, we just uh, have a very successful uh, university here and a very successful athletic program and a lot of that has to do with the fantastic head coaches that are here coach thank you very much for your time best of luck during spring workouts you got it thanks dave back to you lisa yeah we appreciate the time that the coach gave us the bear bryant coach of the year honoree and what a job he did and Nittany Lions, 8-4 and four overall, 6-2 and two in the leaders' division. But as, as he talked about, he was at the Pink Zone game last year, and he, I think it's he's going to make it a priority on his calendar year in and year out here in State College. Dave, you have a little bit more on Kate Thompson. Kate Thompson has been terrific this season. We see her doing it in this game as well. But you got to remember, she was a role player in the last three years. In fact, in this season, she got her first start of her career as a senior. You mentioned she recently broke Michigan's single-season three-point record. This summer, she committed herself, according to Kim Barnes, Rico, the head coach of Michigan. Thompson set a goal to make 50,000 shots in the summer, and she did it while taking summer classes. Coach admitted that she's never seen a player have that determination and exultation out there, and Thompson certainly getting Michigan back into this ball game. Lisa? Dave, yeah, you know, Kim Barnes-Rico kind of jokes earlier in the season, like, that's her first career start? <laughs> that's her first career double-double? Really? With Gilquis Washington of Penn State, congratulations. Back-to-back -back Big Ten champs. How does it feel? It feels wonderful. It feels wonderful. I'm just really happy for our team. I'm proud of our players. It's been a long season, and to be able to uh, 
you know, win another Big Ten championship. You know, it's, it's really special. Quite an interesting game in that second half. In the first half, you guys didn't let Michigan score for about eight minutes plus. In the second half, it almost got down to the single digits. How did you stay the course and prevail in this one? Well, I think we just had to focus. I, I think it's, you know, it's an emotional game when you're playing and you know the championship is, is there for, for the, you know, in, in within reach. I thought the second half, we, you know, we kind of had a, a little bit of too much emotion going on, but we settled down and, you know, uh, our, our players made some big shots and big plays down the stretch. You said coming into this matchup when you looked early on in the season and played Texas A&M and you played them so well in a top 20 matchup, you knew something was going to be special further on in this action and it's certainly playing the course, isn't it? Yeah, you know, I think we have a team where we get a lot of contributions from a lot of people and, you know, today we had Ariel Edwards come off the bench and play some big minutes for us and make some big plays, so um, it's just really nice that everybody contributed to this and, and it's great for, our, for the Penn State community. Congratulations. Go celebrate. Thank you.